Hello, I'm Rand here. We're playing Farming Simulator 17 on Agrovation on the RDL and multiplayer server, and just myself on here at the moment, working on plowing on Field 8 here. No, not Field 7. This is Field 8. Uh, we do own Field 8 as well. And if you watched last episode, we finally got Field 7. Woot. So again, kind of the uh, goal we had for this uh, map was to get Field 7. We finally have it. And as I mentioned, we might do another episode or two on the map here. But uh, for now, I'm uh, working on plowing on Field 8 here. And it looks like a couple combines working on harvesting on it too. Like I missed a strip on either side. Weird. Uh, whatever. Uh, this must be where everybody left off at from the last time they are on the server from the looks of it. Looks like all the equipment's out on this field here. See a couple combines. I think there's another combine down that way too. Uh, not sure this field... Oh, field 7 is ready to be harvested there, I guess. Of course, using the, uh, one of the uh, John Deere 9620RXs on the server here. Um, I know we got, I think, at least three of them. If not more. I see one there. There's one here, obviously. I think there's another one down. Yeah, there's another one with a plow on the opposite side here. So if you look at the map, we got... Kind of down the center of this field is plowed. There's another 9620RX there. So yes, definitely doing a pretty good on the server here. Uh, again, I think we got cows to uh, probably thank for that uh, big time. Uh, cows are definitely uh, paying off. And that was kind of the uh, plan when we started this, by the way. I uh, knew it was going to be a little bit of a slow start, but uh, once we got the cows going, uh, that was hopefully what was going to buy us Field 7, and I'm uh, fairly certain in saying that is what bought us Field 7 here. Yeah, again, with the uh, with the aggravation map here, there's really only crops and animals you can do. There is no biogas plant, so you can't sell silage. Uh, you can't even really do silage bales, I don't think, because there's no bale sell point, at least not in this version. So it's pretty much just uh, crops, so repeating the crops over and over again. And then uh, doing animals. So obviously uh, got the cows on here. Uh, there are pigs and sheep as well. I don't think we've touched either of those at all. Now we have zero sheep or zero pigs. Currently have 1,043 cows, which uh, looks like we're actually doing a pretty good job of keeping fed. Also, once the map is done updating here, is it ah, there we go, yes. Uh, it is a little upside down on the map, but uh, if you folks look at uh, Field 2, I'm, I'm fairly certain you can probably make out what that is. Maybe we'll go take a minute here and go look at that. Let's see, what's our set 2, that mode. And we go uh, take a look at that over in a minute here. I don't know why, but it seems like it takes a while for this map to update when you first join it. Again, on the multiplayer server for all the fields to update as to what's on them. Growth stages, all that good stuff. I don't know, is it finally done? Yeah, even field 13 looks messed up, so it's probably still not updating the map here yet. Again, I don't know why it takes so long for the map to update here, but uh, seems like just the way this map is for some reason. I don't know if it's maybe just the sizes of the fields on this map that makes it take so long. But it uh, definitely takes a while for the fields, fields information to update. Kind of goes back to what I keep saying. It definitely seems like Giants needs to work on their multiplayer capabilities of this game. Uh, in just my opinion here, it is severely lacking. You know, again, with the whole synchronization thing, name any other game that does it the way Farming Simulator does. Uh, to my knowledge, there's not one single game that does that. I mean, can you imagine playing Battlefield, and every time somebody wants to join you, everybody's got to stop and wait for the synchronization to happen? Yeah, I don't think so. So hopefully maybe uh, Giants can uh, improve on that in Farming Simulator 19. I mean, I know they're making it a lot faster, so that that's definitely better. But, 
Again, if you ask me, they need to eliminate it. Not make it faster, they need to eliminate it. And the rest of the uh, the multiplayer experience, I would say, is pretty good. You know, the vehicles, for the most part, are pretty smooth going across the map. You typically don't have too much issue with that. Unless, of course, you have a high ping, which yeah, I'm running right around 35 at the moment, looks like. So that's pretty good ping. And uh, with this game as well, even if you do have a high ping, as long as you have a consistent ping, that is typically what's more important than a high ping. A consistent ping is better than having a lower ping that's fluctuating all over the place. You know, so even if you have a ping of 200, yeah, it's 200, that's not good, but as long as it's, you know, sticking right at around 200, you're probably going to have a better experience than, say, someone at 100 that's fluctuating between, you know, 50 and 150. Anyway, just a reminder again for anybody that would like to join us on the multiplayer servers, information is in the description below. Just uh, make sure you join us on TeamSpeak. And again, information for the multiplayer servers can be found in the description there for servers 1 and 2, as well as the TeamSpeak server. Uh, again, we do ask if you want to join us. Joining us on TeamSpeak is required. And kind of one major reason for doing that, and then a second benefit of doing it that way as well. Uh, you know, major reason being it helps keep the riffraff off the servers. Uh, thankfully, that's not an issue we have much of. Uh, riffraff, that is. And then uh, kind of a second benefit there as well. Uh, TeamSpeak is a really good place to keep all the information for the server. So all the information for the mods, you can find down links for the mods in the uh, TeamSpeak server as well as rules and passwords and where you can find the servers. All that information is in TeamSpeak. Plus it's going to give you a much better uh, multiplayer experience as well, I would argue. Again, TeamSpeak is free for the computer and a microphone is not required. And for those of you wondering what the rules are in TeamSpeak, uh, it's pretty much the same as the rules in my live stream. Not really much difference there. And that goes for the servers as well. Pretty much the uh, same rules on the servers as is in TeamSpeak as is in the live streams. So, universal set of rules there all around pretty much. And, you know, of course, for the farming similar servers, we got a couple extra rules. You know, just a couple, you know, clean up behind yourself, put your vehicles away, please, when you're done. Uh, in a situation like this, uh, okay, so you're not finished with the field? Obviously, no. You do not need to put your vehicles away. Uh, but when the job is done, don't just leave them out. Please put them away, you know, whether that's lining them up along the edge of the field or bringing them back to the farm, you know, clean them up. Uh, you know, if you take a tractor out from the farm, you finish with it, please put it back on the farm when you're done. You know, that way the next person that uses that tractor can find it, knows where it is, and all that good stuff. You know, I'm not going to say, you know, keep everything at the farm. Because, again, you know, with this amount of equipment, if we just put everything by the farm, it would probably be really, really laggy there. So that's probably not a good idea. But at the same time, you know, keep it somewhat organized, whether that's lining it up kind of by the field. You know, for a while there, we had a lot of equipment lined up by field two because that's where we were using everything. You know, everything was at field two, so it's like, well, we might as well just leave it there or thereabouts. Now that we're a little more spread out here, a lot of the equipment's back at the uh, farm here or down by the uh, silos, really, on the silos that are right in front of us there. Anyway, uh, is the map done being uploaded or rendering? Yeah, I guess it is. I guess field 13 is going to stay that way. Let's take a look over at uh, field two here a moment. What do I have that's close? Uh, sheep might be the closest thing to tab to, I guess. We'll just uh, run through, I don't know, someone's backyard here, I guess. Actually, I don't think I've ever even been down in this area, so I'm not even sure what this is, actually. It's a kind of a animal area. Oh, what is this, field one? Yeah, field one. One of the odd-shaped fields on this map, that's for sure. The Kind of the way it curls around there. 
Uh, I'm not sure if we got any really other goals on this map as far as what we're going to do here. Like I said, probably play on it for a little bit longer here, but uh, then for the most part, I think we're going to be done, so... Again, for maybe those of you who can't maybe quite read upside down here, let's uh, just kind of wander through the maze here a moment and then fly up. I should go to this side, I guess. So we got a little bit of corn left on this field here yet that was intentionally left. Let's see what's here. Hopefully we can get this all in the picture here. Should slowly be coming into focus here as to what this is. You can also see kind of the uh, draw distance there for the corn. That's kind of cool. You just get rid of that. There we go. There we go. Like I said, it should be pretty obvious as to what that is, right? That's right. PC for the win. Now the W got a little cut off there, but hey, it still works. Pretty cool. I believe that was uh, Mesa on the uh, server here who uh, harvested this uh, appropriate sane. Anyway, let's... Uh, Tab around here a moment. Um, Alright, uh, <laughs> six are that's on the side, okay. Let's keep tabbing. Oh, we got a lot of equipment on here. Probably some equipment we should sell, too. I'm not sure how much of the stuff we actually even use anymore. 19620RX. Oh, a, a, a gator. That is... Sit on send on the fence. Okay, right, right. <laughs> yeah, sitting right on its end on the fence. Oh well. So I'll go back to plowing here. Let's see. We were in this one, right? Might do a little bit of harvesting here too once we uh, catch up with the unharvested portion here, which actually looks like we're getting pretty close at this point. And as I mentioned last episode here for the uh, multiplayer series, uh, my intentions are once we're done with aggravation here, like I said, maybe another episode or two, we'll see once here how it goes, uh, what everybody else wants to do with this uh, here as well. If everybody's ready to switch maps right away, then maybe not, but uh, I always might play on it a little bit more yet. But uh, once we're done with aggravation here, uh, my plan is we're going to cut out the this part of the multiplayer series for now. And we're just going to go to Valley of the Old Farm for the multiplayer series. Again, that'll be twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then it'll probably just be uh, five multi... Or not multiplayer, uh, single player. Five single player episodes per week. Uh, again, Missouri, Mississippi, Ohio River Basin map there. So we'll still be doing multiplayer, just be multiplayer on the old Valley of the Old Farm. Otherwise, it gets to be a lot of uh, farming simulator episodes there in multiplayer. So. And I'll, I'll probably still be live streaming and stuff from it yet, uh, from this server and probably the other servers as well. But my intentions are I think we'll just uh, do that. Oh, I guess we have caught up here, haven't we? Okay. Not sure what that harvester there was doing, but that's kind of weird. Let's see, is it full? It is. Uh, I guess we better go empty that. Yeah, not sure if that was a hired worker that was harvesting down like that or not. Oh, sides are all open. Okay. Actually, I'm not sure I even knew this harvester could actually do that. Oh, 
I wonder how you even uh, close those now. Oh, grind tank's kind of uh, not quite right there. Maybe well, I see. Oh, it must be an IC control, but uh, I don't see an option for it. Ah, there we go. That one there. Uh, for the multiplayer servers currently, by the way, if you'd like to join us, currently server one, again, is the private uh, farming simulator competition there for PC versus the console on Valley of the Old Farm. Uh, again, reason that's private, just so we can keep track of the hours. Uh, server two is aggravation. That's obviously the one we're on at the moment. We're probably, like I said, about done with this map. Might be a couple more days yet. We'll uh, see once here. Uh, server 3 is Broxton. Again, Server 3 is our old iron server, so for those of you who like all the old equipment, definitely make sure you check out Server 3. Uh, lots of good old mods on there. I know for some of those of you commenting on you know, some of the old mods I'm using single player, that's where a lot of those old mods come from, is from Server 3 there. Got a couple of uh, people there that are uh, pretty good at finding some of the older mods. And you got one of my complaints about the older mods a lot of times is they're not very nicely done. But uh, some of them are actually quite nicely done. Uh, even like the Ford FW there. Uh, FW60, that seems like it's pretty nicely done. Yeah, obviously, maybe not as nice as, say, like the Case Quad Track, but. But still a very nicely done tractor. And service four is Beaver Creek, and server five is Midwest. Again, servers four and five are not my servers, just servers one, two, and three are kind of the official RT Helm servers. So yeah, basically a total of five servers to choose from if, uh, if you like playing a multiplayer. Let's get GPS set up here so we can actually uh, it's lined up a little bit better. Let's turn that a little bit. That looks pretty good, I guess. We're on some lights here. Starting to get uh, dark on the map. And again, I'll have to say, for those of you who have never played a multiplayer before, definitely, definitely should uh, try it out. It is a lot of fun playing multiplayer on Farming Simulator here. You know, again, typically when I'm recording, there's not a lot of people on just because I typically record a little bit earlier in the day. But again, if you want to join us on the uh, servers, typically most people are on like later at night. So 6, 7, 8, uh, 9 o'clock uh, p.m., at least uh, Eastern Standard Time, my time anyway. That's when the majority of people are on is right around that uh, time frame. You know, again, usually I'm recording a little bit earlier in the afternoon there, so that's why typically most people are not on then. Got a few people on, obviously, but uh, usually not a good time to catch people on the servers that time period. And, you know, again, record that early so that way I have time to render up the uh, video and get it uploaded. And if you're maybe like new to the channel, uh, my videos typically are recorded that day and then uploaded that day. So uh, the video you're watching here is being recorded today and it'll be uploaded today. So don't typically record much ahead. Uh, some of my other videos, yes, are recorded ahead like Gold Rush. Uh, we started playing Farmer's Dynasty now. Uh, those videos are recorded ahead. Uh, pretty much just uh, Gold Rush and Farmer's Dynasty, I believe, the only other games I'm really playing at the moment. Uh, we do play a little bit of Farming Simulator 18 every now and then. You know, live stream some other games as well, but uh, Car Mechanic Simulator, for example, been live streaming that one.
But uh, for the most part, all my farming simulator videos, the day they're recorded is the day they are uploaded. Uh, an exception to that would be a Valley of the Old Farm. That one is recorded ahead of time. Again, just so we can schedule the upload on that. And again, most of my real life videos as well, same thing. Uh, typically the uh, day I make the video is the day it gets uploaded. Or at least I try to anyway. You know, make the video, edit the video, and hopefully get it uploaded the same day. Doesn't always happen, sometimes there's a day or two delay there, but... Here's how we try to do it. And again, if you're new to the channel as well, uh, typically alternate every other day, multiplayer versus single player. Uh, currently, the single-player series is the River Basin map. And then again, that's a 4X map. And then the current multiplayer series here is Aggravation. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, it's Valley of the Old Farm PC versus Console Competition multiplayer. Uh, like I said, once Aggravation is done here, I think we're just going to cut out this part. And we're just going to go to... Uh, Single player, probably for, again, like five days, and then two days there for the Valley of the Old Farm. We'll see once we mentioned maybe bumping it up. We'll have to see once if that's still maybe something we might do yet. Oh, and it's skipping the night. Yay. Uh, game extension mod does that, by the way. And we're back to morning. Game extension, kind of a nice mod to have on the server here for those who don't like playing in the night time there. Just automatically uh, skips the night. Also does a bunch of other things too, you know, like allowing you to pick up logs, that type of thing. Just kind of a bunch of other little uh, odds and ends it kind of helps with. And so far, I have to say I kind of like the map here. Uh, a little bit uh, different. Uh, probably not a real good single-player map, in my opinion. I think it's a better multiplayer map, just given the size of the fields, as well as the odd shape of the fields. Uh, these fields definitely are not going to lend themselves well uh, to hired workers. Uh, not to say you can't use a hired worker. They're just not going to lend themselves well to it. Uh, you could probably use course play. They are definitely big enough for that, I would say. Uh, so this would probably be a good map for, like, course play, maybe. Although even the odd shape of the fields, of course, they might uh, might not like it either. I'm not sure. But uh, at least they're big enough you should be able to use course play on them. That's kind of what I was mentioning there on Valley of the Old Farm as well. Uh, I think that's another good multiplayer map. Again, odd-shaped fields. Uh, the only thing with that map is the fields are really small, so that's probably not good for uh, course play. And, you know, Odd Shape, definitely not good for hired workers either, so Valley of the Old Farm, definitely another good multiplayer map there. Uh, we'll see once. If there's enough interest, we might uh, do a public uh, server of that too. Uh, again, the only reason we're keeping the one we have now private is because we need to be able to keep track of the hours. Otherwise, on the PC side, obviously anybody could, that wanted could join. And then we'd have no way of tracking said hours. You know, obviously on the console side, uh, they don't have access to dedicated servers. So the multiplayer there is up only, 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 only when uh, Thomas has uh, the uh, multiplayer open. That trailer's full. John Deere 49.55 pulling four. JM grabbed away and see, yeah, that might be a little bit of a pull. Not to mention, probably a little dangerous. Like I said, I've seen three of them pulled before. I don't know if I've ever seen four. Uh, two is definitely the most common. A lot of times you'll see two uh, grabbed away being pulled. 
that is definitely quite common. Fire the combine back up here again. Maybe we'll uh, line the GPS up to the other side here this time. Oh, that's turned it differently. There we go. I think that's lined up pretty good. Move it over just a little bit just to be safe here. Uh, there was a mention of the Silo King. Obviously, we're using the Silo King here to store everything for the cows. Uh, there was a mention of it'd be pretty cool to be able to fill that thing completely up, meaning you know 15 million liters of silage, 15 million liters of grass, and 15 million liters of straw. Uh, that's 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 a lot. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, I don't know where we're at currently. I don't know if it actually even shows on here. I think it does. It does. Pretty sure it does anyway. So we got seven million liters of grass, eight million liters of straw, and five million liters of silage so yeah so that's what we might try to do here yet uh, in which case probably shouldn't be plowing the straw in this field under It looks like someone was like trying to play hot scotch with the plow there. And that should do it for this little section here. I noticed there's like a, a couple of missing sections there too. I don't know if that's not enough to worry about there. What's it look like on the map? Oh, there's quite a bit down at that end, isn't there? Okay. I don't know if this was a hired worker that was harvesting here. That's kind of one of the little bit tricky things is setting up a hired worker because there's so many angles on the uh, this map here. Really hard to get a hired worker to be properly lined up. Okay, and that note, too, I think it's about time to wrap up the episode. So with that, if you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. Hopefully you also enjoyed the little uh, message. What is up with that field now? Field 1. That's weird. Uh, the little message there on uh, field 2, PC for the win. Of course. And, of course, if you would like to join us on the multiplayer servers, you can find that information in the uh, description there, like I said. Just make sure you please join us on TeamSpeak. That is a requirement. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.